In the lands of my forefathers, when we gather to celebrate the Mawlid of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we say Eid Milad Mubarak. Eid Milad Mubarak. May this, may this celebration of ours be filled with barakah for us in this dunya and the hereafter. We gather to celebrate, just a few moments ago, we were reciting certain verses of poetry on the Prophet ﷺ. And there was a portion that we went through where it mentioned that the Prophet, and this is from the hadith, that the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even before Adam ﷺ was created. He was the chosen one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made so many preparations for him to come to this earth. Part of some of that poetry speaks of his lineage, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is precisely the individual who you and I on a daily basis say is our Nabi, is our Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is an extreme honor for those of us that may have gone through and rightfully so at times feel sad, upset, lost, hopeless, helpless. Know that we happen to be from amongst the Ummah of the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where where we in Urdu we say Ham unke ummati hai. We're from his ummah. He had a certain amount of love for us, right? yearning for us. And the fact that so, in terms of space and time, right? space, we are so far away from Medina al Munawwara, the blessed city of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like the furthest away if we may. And in times, the furthest from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yet, Yet during the month of Rabi'ul al Awal and even outside of the month of Rabi'ul al Awal, there are people, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, who celebrate the Mawlid of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam annually and especially during the month of Rabi'ul al Awal. This is a bashara for all of us. This is a glad tiding for us. That those who make that dhikr and who make, have those remembrances, keep the rest of us sustained. Keep the rest of us protected. That is part of our tradition. We believe that for as long as we have believers in the ummah, we have awliya within the ummah, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would protect the ummah from calamities. Would protect the ummah from calamities. And so to, be in a, to be a part of a community in a place, in a time, right? It, it's such, a, it's an, such an immense blessing. Always remaining hopeful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I just want to share a few things really quickly before I close. We recite, there's, a, there's a two verses uh, at the end of Surah At-Tawbah, which we frequently recite, and we recited a little while ago, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم He's extremely merciful with the believers. فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَقُلْ حَسْبِيَ اللَّهِ Allah is sufficient for me. لا إله إلا هو There's none worthy of worship except Him. عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم I put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He is the Lord of the mighty throne. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains to us how to put trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِذْ هُمَا فِي الْغَارِ إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ Inna Allah ma'ana. Right? That when the Nabi alayhi salatu was with, with, with his partner, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, his companion, in the cave, and they were in that moment of extreme worry and difficulty, he said, La tahzan, do not. He put his trust in Allah. He knew that he had done the right thing. He knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would look after him. He said, Do not fear, Inna Allah ma'ana. Verily, Allah is with us. Mm -hmm. Musa alayhi salatu wasalam on the other hand, when he was fleeing the Pharaoh and they came to the river 
And his people said, Oh Musa, Fir'aun is behind us. He responded and said, Inna ma'iya Rabbi sayahdeen, that verily with me is my Lord. Some of the ulama of tafsir have gone to mention that with the Nabi of Allah, he, he mentioned the word Allah before he mentioned the word ma'ana. And this is because he was the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Musa also put his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he mentioned himself before he mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are from that ummah that puts our complete trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't ask for little things, we ask for big things. And which is why I want to close with the hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu narrates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إِذَا دَعَا أَحَدُكُمْ إِذَا دَعَا أَحَدُكُمْ When one of you asks Allah, makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَلْيُعْذِمِ الرَّغْبَةِ let that individual hope and ask for great things. As nothing has any greatness over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? There's nothing mighty for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We simply in our minds and our hearts only ask Allah for so much. When our Lord reminds us to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the world, of course, we have to make an effort as well. Right? It's a, we have to make an effort, we have to work towards it in terms of our actions and whatever means we have to take. But know that this, this blessing that we have of being from, um, from, the, from the Ummah of the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a blessing enough. Right? Is a blessing enough if this is all we... Right. The only thing that will matter in the hereafter, when it comes down, when all is said and done, is our belief in Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As long as we have that, inshaAllah we're in good shape. Everything else at that point becomes extra and our, gain, our, our ranks in the hereafter continue to increase. But in reality, that is all that matters. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana. Ameen. Right? May Allah keep us steadfast on this path and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep our progenies until the day of judgment steadfast Ameen. on this path. Right, if you're here with your children right now, bashara to you, uh -huh. glad tidings to you and your families. If your children wanted to be here and they couldn't be here, glad tidings to you and your families. If you are amongst those families where if you told your children we're going, they would be excited and happy, bashara to you and your families. Because this is what will keep it alive in the generations after us. May Allah bless and reward all of us. Amen. And may Allah reward our hosts, our families, this community. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this, this, um, this thing that we've begun where we are now meeting in person and sitting close to each other. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may this ni'mah and this blessing remain for us until the day of judgment. And may it never be decreased and may it never be taken away from us. And may Allah grant shifa to all those who are ill and grant ease and afiyah to all those in need. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.